in the right it. direction. I could just do a sound check. If anyone's got a volume, they can let us know. Or Nick's going to let us know whether we've got audio. We're waiting for Fifi's fancy at the moment. We're always waiting Hopefully for Fifi's fancy. Hopefully I'm in the right account this time. Oh, there is, uh, it's not as scorchio as it was yesterday anyway. Feels it's like closer it's, today though. Yeah, it's it? hard to get your breath sometimes, but not complaining. Not complaining. Not complaining. The number of people that came in here saying, oh, it's too hot. I said, if you come here and say that, you're likely to end up dead. Wait, we're waiting for spinning wheel Just of chatting the, amongst ourselves. Of doom to tell us whether we've got any uh, volume. Volume. Yeah. Yay, we have. Morning, everybody. Happy Friday. Well done for Morning. joining us here on YouTube. So, where should we start? Got a lot to talk about today. Don't know who that is. Is somebody making comments, Nick? Um. Zebedee, it's Daniel. It's too hot. Even it's not too so. hot. It's not too hot. It's Hi, not Daniel. too hot. It's never too hot. <laughs> I'm just loving this sunshine. So, um. Yeah, we've had a really full-on time. Um, Julie, morning, morning, morning Julie. Okay. I'm loving the sun. Yeah, me, me too, Julie. Can't ever have enough of this. Oh, it's wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Um, I was away at the weekend. Got people joining. Picture quality is a bit meh. Audio is fine. Oh well, I can't actually do anything about the um, internet signal. That's a shame, isn't it? The picture's not too good, is that what they're saying? Mm. We'll just have a little a look. Well, there's nothing I can do. It's all down to the uh, connectivity. Sorry about that, chaps. And I do hope that you will be able to see, because we've got lots of things to show you today. Um, last weekend, I went to Lille in France um, on a coach trip uh, to a giant flea market. Okay. Is it all good now? Okay. That's good. Good. And um, it was a sort of an experimental trip, really. I wanted to go over and see what the crack was. And I went with one of my lovely customers. And it was a very early set off on Friday morning, collected from Temple Meads on a coach. And we were in the front seat, which was fantastic. Our two wonderful drivers, Mark and Di, from the valleys. Can't do a Welsh accent, but you can. <laughs> Welsh, Pakistan. <laughs> And they were fantastic. And um, we got back late on Sunday night and straight back into work on Monday. So I do feel a bit phased. Um, but it was a really interesting trip. Mm. Very nice to sit on a coach and be sort of able to just sit there and mindfully just sort of blur or mindlessly blur and dribble and watch the scenery go by. And we went all through the middle of London and all the rest of it. And then we got on a ferry. And the whole thing was just seamless. It was absolutely brilliant. And they close the whole town of Lille and it becomes an absolutely enormous flea market with antiques and everything. I mean, there's no way we could get round it in the uh, limited time that we had. And also, I didn't have Nick with me with his trolley behind him, um, <laughs> wheeling everything back. And we, and we were on a coach, so, you know, there's only a limit to how much you can take back. But it was more about seeing what it was all about and deciding whether I would go back again next year with the vans. Um, and I think the answer is most probably yes. Stayed in an excellent hotel. If anybody needs to stay in a hotel near the flea market, I can thoroughly recommend this one. It was actually in Belgium, but it was about ooh, 25 minutes from the drop-off place for the market. And everybody's been messaging me and asking me how it was coming through customs on the way back now that we're out of Brexit. And um, actually, I don't know whether it's just because it was a coach, but for us it was easy. We all had to get off and troop through the sort of... Um, uh, x-ray machines and you know be frisked if appropriate and um, nobody looked in our bags our little bags everything else was left on the coach and they put sniffer dogs on the coach and luckily there were no drugs at least they didn't find mine so that was okay and um, uh, so that was relatively easy it was time consuming um, lots of German school children in two or three coaches before us and they were all very noisy and not very aware of what was going on, so kept having to be prompted to move on through the, the bits and pieces. But anyway, it was fine, absolutely fine. Um, and we stopped off at Calais on the way back and they um, let everybody who wanted to go and buy booze, go and buy booze too. So the drivers couldn't have been nicer. So if you're watching, Japs, thank you so much, cheers. 
So that was Lil, and we've come back with some bits and pieces. I'll show you a few of them as we go around. I've already sold some of it. Um, yesterday I was at an auction for the day and um, went up with an open mind thinking I may or may not buy stuff and ended up spending well over a thousand pounds on new bits of stock, which we will try and put she some of it on. Spend. I do love to spend. I love it when it gets sold quickly as well. That's great. So we'll have a look round. I've got a box of stuff here, which there was one particular thing in a mass lot that I particularly liked. It was a little pottery ram. And um, when you actually pick up the box, which comes with a mixed lot, there's so many other things in there. And I'm intrigued to see what we're going to find. So we'll have a look at that in a minute. Um, the Blues Festival, the Wooten Blues Festival is on next weekend. So it'll be on for Friday, Saturday and Sunday. The town completely comes alive. There's live music all over the place, all the pubs, the restaurants, on the street. It's really, really lively up here and really good fun. So we will open next Sunday from 11 till 3. Um, so that's not this weekend, but the following weekend. So that Blues Festival is on for three nights, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, and um, <coughs> well worth coming up for a visit. Um, and then just to quickly say about the offer for this week, we thought we'd say the code this week is YT Original. YT obviously YouTube and Original because I'm really trying to promote <coughs> excuse me, the Original Range paint. This was the first paint that Pammy produced uh, way back eight or, eight or nine years ago now for the French Eat Range. And it's the original chalk paint, so it's, 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 it's deliciously thick and chalky and it will leave brush marks and you can create texture and you can do your French chippy stuff with it and you can do lots of distressing and colours coming through, etc. And it's the same price, it's £21.95 for a 750ml tin, beautiful colours and you do need to wax this one or seal it with one of the French Chic um, lacquers, one of the, the varnishes, water-based varnishes. But I absolutely love this stuff. And if you come in and the first person who comes in and says, Whitey Original, can pick one of the ooh, several colours that we have available. Um, and if you want me to run through how you can produce texture by using crackle glaze, uh, etc then we'll be very happy to do that with you some beautiful colors one of my favorites is pea soup I don't know if you'll be able to see that on there but it's a sort of a really lovely mm, yellowy green color and it matches two of the lamps I've got down in the other room so I'm dying to paint something using this color to stand the lamps on so that's the code for this week the codes have been working really well and people have been coming in and saying the code and getting their freebie so um, that's good I don't know if there was another comment just came in then, but... Um, <clears throat> Crackle Glaze, that sounds like good YouTube video. Yes, yes indeed. it will be we a good really YouTube. We really did one, but didn't finish it. We've got a unit over here, which um, we've been working on, um, that we have actually painted using a lot of the uh, Crackle Glaze. In fact, we could turn the camera and I'll just quickly show people if you wanted to, James, and then... We've got um, other things to show you as well. Um, you had a visit from a couple of our YouTube uh, viewers, didn't you? When I was here last, oh, when yes. was I here? Yes, yes, yes. The people from Ringwood down in Bournemouth mm. and somebody else that came in as well. And the first Was it John came, and? John, and I wrote their names down in my book and I, I've forgotten what they are, but I will just go and get them in case they're watching and we can do them a <laughs> shout out. Yeah, it was very lovely. nice, Except yes. Paddy, didn't like his crutches, did he? No, he's never seen crutches very before. Oh, favoured those. So their names were John and Debbie from Ringwood in Bournemouth. Yay! So for listening, John and Debbie, it was a pleasure to meet you. Um, so the crackle glaze, if you go up to the top bit here, Ginge, that's sort of the crackle glaze where it's showing the colour, base colour through. And then I've done a lot of sort of chunkiness, pulling it off using gaffer tape and you can just keep on going and build up as much texture as you like and the observant people amongst you will notice that the insides of this cabinet which used to be black have now just been changed and we've painted it cream we felt that we were sort of losing everything into a black hole yeah so we've painted it cream and i am going to be putting on some um, browning wax just to give it a little bit of 
age. My kitchen looks like that without any effort. <laughs> so, um, you, let's have a look at something I brought back from Lille, seeing as we're here. These are particularly old, but they look very old, and I just couldn't resist these. They're filthy dirty, there's cobwebs on them, I need to sort them, but they're a sort of a bird cage with a, a glass back to them with the bird sitting on a key, and I just thought they were particularly attractive. Mm. Nice shape. Don't know how much they're going to be yet. We haven't even had a chance. They look to lovely. The Thank prices. you, Daniel. But they are really nice. They're, mm. they're a little bit different, and they look super. This one here as well is one that I bought back, and I have priced this. <laughs> this is um, an old... What do you call these things? It's um, an ecclesiastical piece. Um, Jesus on the cross on beautiful old faded brown velvet. There is damage to the top, but actually it doesn't detract from it in any way. And I really love that with its old domed glass. And that's on for 94.95. We have the cherubim, that sold straight away. Um, things that I got yesterday from the auction. Uh, I've got some contemporary style lamps here. They're always useful this time of year if you're dining outside. Also nice for Christmas. Um, got a lovely big circular mirror, which will be going on hopefully later today. And you'll probably laugh at me. It seems as if I have a sort of a parrot fetish. What did you think I bought the most of yesterday? Uh, parrots. <laughs> <laughs> we have loads. But I particularly like this. This is um, a mirror, and the parrot is actually attached to the mirror. So it, it's sort of like he's looking at himself in his, or seeing his own reflection. And that's a big, heavy, it's a modern mirror, but it's got some sort of character to it. And of course, it's got a parrot, which just right up my street. Um, ooh, we had a lot of these little useless, useless, useful tables in these little tripod tables. Gives an interesting effect. Yes, it does. And um, I love this one, 35.95. It's pre-painted, came in just painted in black chalk paint. Easy enough to paint over if you want to do a different colour, but I absolutely love these little tables, they're so useful. Uh, have this very nice fire surround guard thing in. What do you call these? These sort of hide your fire, don't they, Nick? What are they called? Fire screens. Fire screen, yeah. And this one's a particularly nice one, done in decoupage, all floral, self standing up. You can fold it away, put it down behind the sofa if you're using the fire. And I will try and get that one priced today as well. So I'm showing you things that haven't got prices yet because literally I bought them in last night. Um, one of my favourite things, this big, beautiful spoonbill picture. Um, very nicely framed, loving the pinks and the greens together. Kind of half thinking that one might end up in my lounge. Look really nice on the dark grey walls. But anyway, that one will be going on as well. Um, should we just have a quick look at some of the stuff I have bought, which I don't even know what I bought. Well, there's some very peculiar things here. I don't even know what that is. It looks like it might actually vaguely be some sort of an inkwell. I don't really know, but that's part of this job lot of things. Um, I don't know what this massive swan is. It looks like Christmas. Um, I don't know what's in here. I'll see if I can find the actual thing I bought to show you. Oh, look. Oh, these things are so not really me, but anyway, we will we will see what happens. I can find the one I wanted, and then hopefully it will justify all the other things. Oh, I like these. I love that. That's okay. Very happy with that. Um, hopefully there'll be two. Okay, look, we've got a couple of crucifixes. Crucifixes? Crucifix eye? Crucify. Crucify, yes. <laughs> no, that's... I don't two know. Two of those, so those are rather nice. Um... What else? Oh, this looks interesting. What's that? Oh, that's always useful. I don't know quite exactly what that is. Just like a cushion fish, maybe? Um, come on, let's find the thing I actually wanted. Little blue bowl, that must have a lid on it. Can you it. show them to the camera before you sorry, whiz sorry. to the next thing? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Desperately trying to find the thing that I actually wanted. Ah, there it is. There it is. Couldn't resist that. Thought that was just so sweet. I do love sheep, and um, I thought that was particularly pretty with a bit of porcelain. Um, so I bought this whole box just to get that, and then you get all the other stuff in there that you have absolutely no idea what it is. Now that is what you call a big chunky candlestick. 
That looks Dutch uh, to me. So, um, yeah, that's interesting. Then maybe there's two of those with a bit of luck. Have a look and see what else we've got. Sorry, everybody, this is a bit boring. We will move on very quickly and show you the other things. Oh, some little, little coasters. They're quite pretty. Little porcelain ones. Running out of room over here, Nick. Um, I don't know what this is. This is a felt. Maybe the fish goes with the candlestick holder. This is a felt <laughs> swan. I think it must work like that. And there is a thing to hang it up on the Sorry, back. Sorry, I'm standing here looking like a... And I don't quite know how this works, but I think it goes on the wall. There is a thing to hang it up. That's a bit different, isn't it? <laughs> We can put that in the big frame over there, yeah. Nick. Yeah, Actually, it's uh, quite fun. Quite like that. Needs a bit of um, sorting out on the back. But anyway, we can do that later today. Ah, there's another little crucifix here. That's a little rinky-dinky one. Actually, that that looks very old. You don't even understand that. Look, there's a skull and crossbones underneath that. And just see that. Ted riding the swan in a window display. <laughs> 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 Oh look, we have got another candlestick, so there are two of those, so that's useful. It's always nice to have a pair of matching candlesticks, and I think those are very definitely looking quite Dutch to me. We have to get um, um, oh, no, to Paddy. A look. Well, well, didn't you get them at his auction? Um, no, this was a different auction. That's quite a nice little jug. Oh yes, very stylish. I like that. Nice shape. Yeah, that's that's nice. What does it say on the bottom? I haven't, had a chance to, I haven't had a chance to do any of the uh, searching for anything on these. Right, you're nearly at the bottom. Oh, look, there's another another sort of pair of the, that little lady that goes with the chap there. A bit chintzy for me, but they're all in good condition, no damage, so that's good. We've got a bit vase. It's very plain, but could be quite a useful vase to have, I guess. And one last thing down in here, looks like a jug. Oh yes, punch. That's quite nice. The old punch cartoons. So that's one box unpacked. Oh, we have got two or three other boxes as well, but we'll have to look through all those. Right, should we go down in the other room? Oh yes, we've got a big clock here, which is supposed to look like a propeller. airplane propeller. Mm. Um, it's battery operated, so that should be absolutely fine. We'll try and get that one on the wall. Um, Come on, Patrick. What else? We'll go this way, man, for a change. I mean, so I've got this chair that's come in. This is a contemporary chair, but very nicely made. Where's the gold chair gone? That sold yesterday. Oh, it's good. It's new home. Um, so that one will hopefully be going on. Very comfortable, very nice. So here's the first of the parrots. We've got table lamps, a pink one. We've got a tall a black fan one. fan clock, I ideal for this weather, nice. yes. A fan clock. If it did work as a fan, it would be good, yeah. Yeah, that would be amazing, <laughs> wouldn't it? Oh, here's another French thing here, a cushion mirror, an old, old, vintage Louis XVI style French cushion mirror, which I think is very pretty. It's not displayed to its best there, but it's the only spare hook I could find. Had this bust in yesterday. She's resin. Um, I have a feeling I might be painting her white and using defining wax on her to make her look like she's carved from stone, but we'll see, see what people think. Um, we've got this little vintage, very sort of cubic looking, um, what do you call these? Rocking, Rocking horse. horse. But that would be nice in the window. I've got some very pretty mother of pearl chairs. Look how pretty that is. Mm. Really sweet. This one's got some damage to the caning, but um, still doesn't detract from it. Could be a nice teddy bear chair on a landing or in the corner of the bedroom. I've got another orange parrot. And because I can't resist these, I bought another of the... Um, mannequin. Vintage mannequins, which I, I just love. Haven't put this one on yet. This was something I bought from Malvern the week before last. This is um, what's this? A tilt table, isn't it? Tilt table. Tilt yeah. table, and it's really beautiful. It's been beautifully <laughs> painted. I met the guy who painted it. Paddy, he did come such here. Such a good come, job. Come, Parents, come see. Come here. Come see. <sighs> so I just think this is good absolutely boy. gorgeous. You're a good um, boy. We'll try and get that one on today for sure. Shh, sorry, sorry if your earphones are on. Somebody gag the dog. 
think he's had enough. I think we need to bring this to an, a rapid end. Well, let's just walk around and have a look outside. And just to say, we have got so much stock here at the moment. If you get a chance to come in and see it, I'm not going to be able to get everything on. In the best world in the world, it's going to take ages. This is being He's fine, good, Paddy. Oh, that's good. So that's going out. Um, this is hopefully going tomorrow, so that's on to Oh, home. excellent. So people are still spending some money then? Yes, yes Did the work experience good. last finish her time in the shop? She's back to school now, but we're really hoping she might come and stay with us on um, a Saturday and come in and come Oh, and that'd be nice. Great work. Sophie. Sophie, because she was just the best. Yeah. We've got his lead. Um, we'll just have a quick look outside at the other bits and pieces. Um, oh. You said it. <laughs> oh dear. Right. Just a quick look at there. Look at that table. There's some um, some nice bits. I'll just quickly show you. I thought this was very character -ful. This is a little pony or mule or donkey or whatever with a candle thing on the top, which I thought was lovely. Mm. And we have this very nice stylish metal pig which just took my fancy I really quite liked. you like the rabbit yes that was one of sophie's yeah sophie did that one as well which um i haven't put onto the system yet again people think i don't do anything but actually i don't really ever seem to stop so we brought the cat chateau back out we love this this um shabby chic sort of cat chateau there's a cushion in the bottom so the cat can go in and have a little sleep and the door opens and closes and then there's a well which we put a plant in, but you could put bottles in it or whatever, or you're shopping, whatever. But I just thought that's a nice little thing to have. And then we've got this lovely vintage stool, twenty-five ninety-five. Got a bird cage which I bought yesterday, which I haven't priced up yet, but I think that's rather lovely. Um, what was the other thing? We've got some cool painted cabinets which I think are really pretty. Frampton well, on seven. Yes, well worth going to. It's not far from here. How far is it? About five miles from here as the sun flies. It's a massive country fair. And we're going to be going really early because we're going to enter Paddy <laughs> into what are we entering it into? Which class? Just best of group, puppy, age. Yes. Don't know. So we will be there in the puppy classes with Paddy. <laughs> and we've, we've got him also booked in for something at five o'clock. Which is the there. Jack Russell Terrier racing. Oh, Yes. No, they you let them go and they all chase a rabbit or something. Oh my god. Really? <laughs> Mayhem. Wooden Blues live from Fifi. With lots of animals in the shop you can adopt and take home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice. wow. So yes, there's an awful lot going up. Right, that's enough. And we are ready to go and lie down now. In a yes, corner. thank so. you for being here. You stole Walt. Yes, thank you. <laughs> you stole Walt peeps. Thank you so much, my lovely regulars. We appreciate it. Yes, and if you're new here, please press the subscribe button. It does help Fifi's channel to grow and um, share and like and comment. It all helps. And we'll be back at the same time next week. If we're safe. Yes, thank yeah. you. And you, Daniel, have a great week. 
and see you soon. Bye for now. Bye, bye. bye. bye.